Um, I thought it was really good. I thought you guys covered a lot of different areas of your topic, from like the stress to underprivileged students, how the work affects underprivileged students. So you guys had a lot in there. Um, I would definitely say like you want to try to do the video because it is hard to like match your speech with your presentation. But you all did good, and I noticed that you were efficient at like pausing, especially you counting in certain places, so that like you didn't get ahead of yourself. Um, and it was very well written, especially the theory and the knowledge claim was very clear. Like you covered all your bases and included everything. And the only thing I would suggest would be like a little less reading, just keeping your eye contact. You did really good on that. Yeah, you use the concept map as your notes as opposed to a, a, a straight read of notes, and it makes it a more interactive. But I agree. Um, very impressed with the quality of the map, the comprehensiveness of it, and the V. I mean, you guys did your homework. My only concern would be some of the, you know, the contrasts in this room. Certainly, we've got lighting issues today. But when you print this out, generally what you want to do is print it out in pure black and white so it's easier to see. Sometimes it, it fades, um, you know, for the reader. Um, but nice work, Nicole. I think excellent and uh, Im impressive content. Okay, do we go now to the no side? Homework Uber Alice. Uh-oh, what? Nice work. I mean, you folks have constructed some excellent maps and bees. One of my concerns would be the color contrast. It's always you got to look in this room. How does it feel? But we're also, you know, uh, kind of flooding the room because we're videotaping. So on your uh, handout, it's effective. And I agree with Nicole that you've said here are some examples or here's evidence why it's effective for little kids or why it's not effective for little kids. So you've looked at the range in schooling. So now why don't we cut to the chase of questions and answers. Anybody from the audience have question and answer? We will not invade your privacy. Okay, take care. Have a nice Thanksgiving. Thank you. Already. Um, Q&A from the audience. Thank you. You are the moderator, of course. Do you guys have anything? <laughs> so let's go for the moderator, and then certainly I've got some. So, okay. Nicole, they're your panel. Um, one thing I would ask your side of it is, just how can you argue with the idea of having, like they said, the right quality of homework and not an overwhelming amount, but that enforces like what they learned at school? Like I don't, I'm not sure how you could argue that that's a bad thing. You know? I mean, uh, after reading uh, the article, it talks about so many different things that like it talks about black holes of homework, like. Um, I don't know how you did your homework or how I did my homework, but it says more than 50% of students are not actually doing their homework on their own. They're going back and they're doing their homework before school with, uh, with classmates. Um, you know, they might be getting answers from their parents. Um, and like we said, we talked about it on the slideshow quite a lot, like uh, the students. Nicole, do you have uh, any more questions? Or? Not really. I think okay. you made a good point. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but is it, is it safe to say that we should abolish homework totally because some teacher didn't put the homework in relation to the test? No. You just 
like, like Skinner says in his argument, you have to make the homework consistent with standardized tests. You have to make it a quality and a quantity to make sure that the students gain the skills that they need to succeed academically and career-wise. So it's, un it's like unrealistic to say that students should have no marks because some students are poor. Just because some students don't do better on standardized tests when they do homework. I feel like homework is necessary. It needs, even though some students are overworked, it's very necessary for achievement. So. <laughs> I don't really understand or, or agree because like most of the time when you do homework, it's not even graded or it's probably not even looked at. I mean, there's no meaning out of it and you're just doing it. And some people are struggling with it and maybe had wrong answers that wasn't checked or corrected. Okay, then it would clearly be nonsense. It's also yeah. unrealistic if you, if you... Yeah, where you get a check mark. Yeah. For, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've been, been there and done that, yeah. It's, a, it's unrealistic you say that the American school system can't change, and you're, you're probably right that the educational reform won't happen for years and years. But in your argument, you say that shorter homework assignments that are regular and that allow creativity